Hi, my name is Rob McLaughlin, and I have some conflict resolution tips for you. Today we'll talk about uh, fight, flight, or freeze, the way you can respond, win-win, types of outcomes, and how to keep conflict from getting worse. There are things that happen to us in conflict that are quite natural and expected. We've all been there. We begin to have a quick heart rate. We breathe very quickly and shallow. Our pupils may narrow. This is a part of the body's sympathetic response and it's to keep us alive. It's intended to help us, but it's a very animalistic gut level response. And what we really need to do in a moment of conflict is be rational, thoughtful, and be in the headspace. So breathe, take a moment, slow things down, try to think, be intentional, and try to move away from that moment of being reactive. Typically what we do in a conflict is we respond in one of three ways. We either fight, we run away, or we freeze, we're immobile. Neither of those responses are useful for what we're trying to accomplish. So tip one is simply to take a breath, try to move away from the re reactive and, and natural response, and try to be more reflective and thoughtful and intentional in what you're going to do. Tip two, when we're in a conflict, we really need to manage how quickly it escalates. Now, in another segment, we'll talk more in detail about how to do that. But for now, be aware that there are really just a few possible outcomes that can happen. And what we want to do in terms of de-escalation is calm things down, move away from that fight mode once again, and then we really want to think about win-win solutions. How can we resolve this in a way that works the best for both individuals? That is a far better outcome than my winning and their losing, or their winning and my losing, or neither one of us getting what we need and we both lose. Um, compromise is a good thing, but it's not always the best outcome. The best outcome is if we can resolve this in a way where both people get what they need. Tip three, when you're in a conflict and emotions are running high, and someone is perhaps raising their voice, yelling, making gestures, you know, physically, our tendency is to do the same thing. We want to mirror that. And not only do we mirror it, we escalate, we, we uh, reciprocate, we take an extra step above what they did. So if someone uh, talks loudly, then I talk even louder, then they start to scream. That doesn't work. So in order to avoid the reciprocation that takes place, you actually have to take a step back or think of it as just kind of turning sideways. Even physically, instead of facing them broad on, square face to face, just turn your shoulders a little bit. Let the flow kind of, you know, go past you a bit. So in, in, in an intentional way, be mindful of what's happening and simply take a step back, yeah, maybe even physically. And if they're talking louder, you talk softer. Try it. It works. And the key here is you don't want it to get worse. You want to keep it in a manageable place. You cannot negotiate or mediate, facilitate, conciliate. You cannot get outcomes that you're looking for when the emotions are high. You're going to have to mitigate and and get things to a neutral place to where you can sit down and in a more intentional and rational way have a productive conversation more on that in another segment